Hey everyone, if you are new here to Brawi Got This or even an existing viewer, go ahead and go check out me and Joe's podcast over at Lagged Out Podcast on YouTube and iTunes, and it's also on SoundCloud. We talk about video games, movies, and other entertainment uh, topics, so you guys should go check that out if you guys want to listen to that. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Adam here with Brawi Got This, and today I'm bringing you guys another guide on ESO, and today it's going to be the Indrick Mount Guide video. Um, I think that this is something that's not really explained well, and it's a little confusing to newer players on how to get the mounts that are event-based in the Elder Scrolls Online. So, if you guys are unfamiliar with what these mounts are, it is the Nascent Indrick Mount. I don't know if I butchered that word or not, but I feel like I did. But this is the mount that is the base one, and in order to get this base mount, you have got to collect event tickets. So, first things first, if you look at the map here, I am in Aradon in the Aldemary Dominion, and you have to go to the Impresario with the event exchange here, and so it is at all the base cities of each starting zone. So Direfall Covenant is here in Direfall. There's the Impresario right there. And the Impresario in the Ebonheart Pact is in um, Stonefalls, and you'll see it right there. So you need to go to that event vendor to actually look at the interface. So when you go to the Impresario, here is the actual interface here that you can spend your tickets. Right now, you can actually spend tickets on Saisahan's Arm Cops, which are five tickets a piece, as, lo as well as his other armor and weapon styles that they uh, let you buy right now. And then you'll see uh, helmets, uh, or shoulder and helmet styles as well, and then you'll get into these feathers and berries, which is what these this mount is, and, and which is what we will talk about now. So, how do we get event tickets? So, let's talk about how we get the event tickets. Zenimax runs a ton of events throughout the whole year of ESO. Um, they are split up into four quarters. So just like in business, you have quarter one, Q2, which is quarter two, Q3, and Q4. Quarter one is basically the first three months of the year. Quarter two is, you know, four through six. Quarter three is seven through nine. And then the uh, quarter four is 10 through 12 months. And so in those four in those four quarters, there's going to be four events in each of those quarters that allows you to collect event tickets. Now, you can also buy event tickets from the Crown Store. You can get them here under the events, uh, currency, event tickets. They're 250 crowns apiece. Um, I believe it lets you buy as many as you want. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't. But yeah, I've I've bought some, and if you want to get those last couple event tickets, you can just buy them here for 250 crowns a piece if you feel like they are worth it. So let's break it down into each quarter. Each quarter has a specific variant of the Indrick mount. So you may have seen people walking around with a shiny mount or a black mount, which was like the Onyx one, or one that is you know, sort of just luminous or, you know, might look a little different than the shiny one. I don't really know how else to explain that one, but you might have seen all these different variants of mounts. And that's because each quarter, there's different berries that you need to buy for each mount. But before we get the berries, you have to have all four feathers to create the base mount. So they changed it to where before you couldn't have, they didn't have the option to buy all the feathers um, in each event. It was only the mount variant feather that you could buy in each quarter. But now, luckily, every single event, you're able to purchase all the feathers to get them. So what you need to do is you need to spend 10 tickets on each feather first. So that's a four, that's a grand total of 40 tickets, and that will get you the base Indrick mount, okay? But once we get the base Indrick mount, we can start collecting the berries from each mount. So the unfortunate thing is, is if you want, say, the luminous Indrick mount, you're not going to be able to get that mount yet until quarter two of next year unless they change something in the way that they disperse the berries right now the mount that you have to work towards is the pure snow indrick mount which is the quarter four variant mount 
But before we do that, let's talk about each one. So the quarter one mount is the Dawnwood Indrick. In order to get the Dawnwood Indrick, you need to have the Dawnwood Berries of Bloom, Dawnwood Berries of Budding, and Dawnwood Berries of Growth, plus the Dawnwood Berries of Ripeness. So in order to get those berries that we just talked about for the Dawnwood Indrick, you would have to get 10 event tickets for each one. So that means, again, you'd have to have another 40 event tickets to get the variant of the mount. I know that seems like a lot. It is a lot, sort of. I mean, they do it for a reason, um, you know, mainly because, you know, they could sell tickets in the crown store, but they give you the option to get these mounts and berries uh, every single event because they have each quarter split up into four events um, in some way, shape, or form that allows you to get each berry if you do and get two event tickets or however many tickets they allow you to get each day, you will be able to get each berry in each quarter. Now that requires you to play a lot um, if you're not currently playing the game, but again, that's why they allow you to buy with crowns in the crown store if you miss them. So the Donwood Ingram Mount, you know, you have the Mid-Year Mayhem event, you have the Morrowind Celebration event, the Thieves Guild Dark Brotherhood Celebration event, and the Jester's event gestures festival event that gives you the ability to buy all four of those berries that i just talked about now let's move to the luminous indrick mount which is in quarter two the luminous indrick mount requires the luminous berries of bloom luminous berries of budding luminous berries of growth and luminous berries of ripeness okay so to get those the Berries of Bloom is available or were available in week one of the Anniversary Jubilee, and then it goes down to week two, week three, week four of Anniversary Jubilee. There's not four separate events in that quarter. They have just the Anniversary Jubilee that allows you to get those berries in each of the weeks. So it's also worth mentioning that if you are confused by the berries and which mount you're going to get, it tells you the mount name in the front of the berries. So the Luminous Indrick says, you know, Luminous Berries of Bloom. Like I said, the Dawnwood Indrick says Dawnwood Berries of Bloom. So that's just something to keep in mind uh, so you know if you're a little confused. Plus, you can always come back to this guide to see if, uh, if you're confused furthermore in that. Moving on to quarter three's mount, this is one of my favorite ones, and I think the one I want to get first is the Onyx, Onyx Indrick mount. So this, to get this, you need four of the different berries. It's called Onyx Berries of Budding, Onyx Berries of Bloom, Onyx Berries of Growth, and Onyx Berries of Ripeness. So you can get those in the Dark Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood celebration event, the Orsinium anniversary event, the Imperial City celebration event, and the Dragon Rise event. Now, another thing to keep in mind is as they progress through the years, they may change this in some way. All these events may not be the same each year. So, you know, if they're coming out with an expansion or something, they might have a new name for the event, but just keep an eye on the store or keep an eye out on the news page for ESO, and I'll keep you guys updated as well if it does change. But they usually have some of these events every single year, and they don't change. But like the Dragon Rise event, that's probably not going to be the same every year just because this year is the year of the dragon. So one year it might be something else. It might be named something else. So just keep that in mind when you guys are looking for the event to get the right berry that you need. And then the final mount, the fourth one you can get, is in quarter four, which is the one we're in now, which is the Pure Snow Indrick. You have to get the Pure Snow bud Berries of Bloom, the Pure Snow Berries of Budding, the Pure Snow Berries of Growth, and the Pure Snow Berries of Ripeness. Now, as you can see in the screen here, we have the Bloom ones, we have the Budding ones, and we have the Growth ones. We do not have the Ripe ones yet. The reason we do not have the ripe ones yet is because there is another event that's going to have that one unlocked. So right now that one's not available. When that event comes available, we will have that berry available to purchase. I hope that this clears up a little of confusion with the mounts. I've seen people be confused about this because during the uh, quarter three, there was a glitch which was allowing them to, uh, people to use one berry, like one berry type on their mount, and it would change into the onyx mount, 
and that was not supposed to happen. Um, so you can get a good look here of some of the mounts. These look beautiful. They look absolutely wonderful. And I love like ant like stags and stuff. So I just think it's like a really cool mount. And that's why I really, really want it. So, but keep that in mind that there were some people that were confused with how to get this mount because they thought you'd only use one berry to transform your mount. And that is not the case. You have to have all four berries of that quarter to transform the mount into the specific seasonal mount that you want. So it is not one berry, it is four berries. But I hope this guide helped everyone out. I know this has been a, a very confusing thing for some people in this game that just started out because they see these mounts and they're like, how do you get those? And there's a lot of like confusing information out there. So I hope this shed a little bit of light and insight for you all on this and please let me know if I've missed anything in the video. I'm pretty sure I covered everything about this. Uh, again, if you guys want to watch me play live on ESO, I stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash this. And you can catch all my guides on YouTube. Look out for the future guides I have for the channel. And just remember, guys, to have faith, be great, and thank you guys again for watching. See you later.